What's up guys? My name's Alex. Welcome to the Bug Out Life YouTube channel. G'day everyone, if you've seen my videos before, welcome back. And if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. Make sure you check out the previous videos where we go from a pile of metal to what I have behind me today. On the menu today, we have some camper trailer building and a bit more camper trailer building for dessert as well. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around and we'll make it happen. There we have it guys, we're all sanded down. Uh, I've wiped everything down as well, cleaned it with acetone so it's nice and clean for painting. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll throw a little bit of tape on a few spots I don't wanna get paint, uh, like these aluminum plates and uh, where the locks are and stuff. I wanna keep a few little aluminum features um, cause it'll tie in nicely with all the cabinets and drawers. Uh, and then I think we will look at paintings. So I jumped the gun a little guys, I actually don't have any rollers for my paint, just checked. So I'm gonna take a quick trip to Bunnings and then we will paint. Uh, but what I've done is I've just taped all this up off camera because you guys don't need to see that. Uh, so we're literally ready to, to go now. Um, I was gonna take this off, but I nearly broke it putting it on there by myself and I got no help here. So I'm gonna leave it on there and then just paint it upside down uh, and see how that goes. So uh, we'll run to Bunnings now, grab some rollers and we will be in business. All right guys, so our first coat's done there. That was honestly way more stressful than I expected. Um, I don't like painting at all, uh, but I did make a few mistakes. Um, I kind of didn't account for all this black framing right here, which was right next to where I was painting. I didn't tape it up, silly me. So what I did is I just got close to the edge. I didn't quite do the edge there. Uh, and I'm gonna do a second coat anyway. So I'll get those bits uh, when I do the second coat after I've taped them up, but I'm gonna let this one dry for now. Uh, otherwise, it went down all right. I had to get it on pretty quickly. It's pretty smelly stuff as well. Uh, but other than that, it looks half decent, I think. Um, I went for an off-white. It's like more of a very, very light gray color, uh, just so it's not so bright and in your face. Uh, so that should look pretty good. So we'll pick back up tomorrow anyway, do a second coat, and then we should hopefully be done with painting and we can start assembling this uh, galley area. Alright guys, it's the next day here and our paint is all dry, came up really nicely, our paint looks really good, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, what we're going to do from here is we're going to just touch up some of the black framing uh, with a counter raptor coat, uh, just because I got a bit of white paint on a few spots where I didn't tape or I taped too late. Uh, and then we'll also touch up a few spots on the trailer frame outside where we had to weld new brackets on for the, um, the water tank, just while we've got that spray can going. Uh, and then from there, we'll look at cladding the interior wall here uh, for the kitchen. We'll just do the kitchen first, so that way we can work on the wiring inside the wall cavity uh, from inside the bedroom there. It'll give us some access. So uh, that's what we're doing now. Let's get it.
Alright, moment of truth, first fit up, let's see how we did. Awesome, there we go, there's the first piece in. So we're just gonna cut another one for the top section here, uh, not including where the cabinet's gonna sit because that's just wasted material and space. Uh, and then we'll keep going from there. All right, top section. Grab the wrong piece. Give me a sec. This little guy here is what we need. Bam, perfect. Cupboard sit there, that'll sit there. Bob's your uncle. We are laughing guys. Cool, so now I just need to get inside the actual camper, um, mark out that hole there. I'll cut it and then our drawers will slide in and I think from there we can probably glue those in and then get the drawers and stuff in so let's get her done. All right, so our panels are all cut up now. Uh, we have our power box hole cut out. We have the hole for our drawers to recess into cut out. So I think we're pretty much ready to glue in. Uh, and then once we've glued in, we can look at doing all of the seals around the, uh, the edges and making it all look tidy. And then we're fitting it out. So uh, let's get to gluing those wall panels in and we'll go from there. As you can see guys, we have test fitted our um, drawers and fridge slide again just to make sure that it all fits with our cutouts. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll just mark uh, where we want the bases to be glued down. Uh, we'll take it all out, glue down the bases as well. And then once that's dry, we can, I guess, permanently put these uh, cabinet, uh, these drawers and stuff in. So moving right along, uh, once we've done that, we'll look at doing the cupboards up above uh, and then we'll go from there. So stick around.
All right, guys, so I've got to hit play before I started to uh, do a few things on here. So what I've done is I've just run the wiring uh, along the roof here, just roughly for where our light will be for our kitchen light. Um, hopefully I can get the cabinets up high enough and use the, the gap in between the two to hide that wire. Uh, that's the plan anyway, so we'll see how it looks once we actually get the, uh, the cabinets up uh, and then you know make a plan from there if it doesn't work out. So. I've done that. What I'm going to do now as well is put on our little power hub on the wall here because it has a weird bracket where it has to slide onto the bracket and if I put the cupboards up, it won't be able to slide along. So I'm going to find a place that now, uh, mount that one and then we'll go through. All Well, there you go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm extremely excited to see this start to take shape. We have our fridge slide all mounted up and glued in. We've got our drawers all mounted up and glued in, and we have our little power outlet here uh, all mounted up as well. That just has like your normal USB 12 volt, little volt meter readout as well. So that'd be pretty handy to have in the kitchen. Uh, we ran our wiring up here for our, our kitchen light as well. Hopefully we can make that work with our cupboards, but that'll happen another day when I've got some help here, uh, just to make sure we get them all in position, square, uh, all even and all that good stuff. All right, everyone, as you can see, we're making some really good progress here. Uh, we have our cabinets all mounted up now officially. That's where they're gonna stay and live forever. Uh, we have our uh, uh, drawer slide, sorry, fridge slide and our drawers all completely mounted in. Uh, we're all painted, we've got our walls in, we have our little power outlet here. Uh, we've just put in our, um, I guess, brains box for the power system uh, down the bottom there. We've just glued that in. We're gonna let that dry before we do anything with that. And we will add a few brackets to that as well, just to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, what else have we done? Um, I've put some wiring here for the, uh, the kitchen light. Now on the video or the clip, you'll see uh, the position of these cabinets will be a little bit different because after I put them there, I sort of made a change. I decided I wanted to have plenty of space for my light wiring and I'm actually also add a um, LED light strip underneath here. So I'm gonna put a few, um, I guess, filler blocks in where the gaps are so it'll all look, you know, like one, one piece uh, per se. 
but there'll be some um, negative space in here where I can put some wiring and uh, another LED light uh, and a few other little bits and bobs. So that's why I've done that one. Uh, but I'm just making up those filler blocks off camera because uh, you guys don't really need to see that. But other than that, we're uh, cruising along pretty well. So I think that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Um, we are starting to get into electrical now, which is going to be quite a big component and probably its own video. And then from there, we have to start adding all the other stuff to the outside of the camper. Uh, so there's heaps more to do, um, heaps more content to come, but we're definitely moving along really well. So thanks so much for sticking around uh, with this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up or hit me with a comment if you have anything to add. Uh, but other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.